Hi, I'm Mark Keith with American Rifleman. And I'm here at the SIG Sour Range Day, and I'm with Andy York. Now, Andy's a guy I've known for a while. He is now president of SIG Sour's Electro Optics Division, and you have some developments in the Romeo line here, Andy. Yeah, this was a, a big success in 2016 when we launched the Romeo 4 line, uh, and we upgraded it. We got a lot of feedback from the market on things they'd like to see to even take it to the next level. So there's four models this year. There's the Romeo 4H for hunting, okay. entry level. The Romeo 4S that we're showing today, which has a solar panel on the top. And there's the Romeo 4T on the high end for the military tactical customers that ruggedize even to the next level. So the, the, the 4S, uh, this particular example has got a dot within a circle reticle. What reticle patterns are available in it? So some of the upgrades for this year, uh, you might take a look at the new mount. We ruggedized the mount. We got feedback. They wanted that a little more beefy, so we, we updated the mount. This is an absolute co-witness at 1.41, so you can co-witness your iron sights. Uh, people really loved last year that we had a dot, a new MOA dot, where we had a 65 MOA circle dot. Right. So we, this year we said, hey, let's give them four reticles. So all of these Romeo 4s come with four reticles on board. So you've got a dot, a circle dot, and then you've got both of those options with or without ballistic holds for 556762. Five, and you can just toggle through those? You just toggle. You hit the plus and the minus buttons for, uh, for a second, and it will toggle from one reticle to the next. And then wherever you leave it off is where it will come back the next time it wakes up. Now, with the uh, with the solar panel, is it running mostly off the battery, or is it running mo mostly off the panel? I mean, what, what's the primary source there? So on the Romeo 4, the system will actually try to, depending on the brightness setting that you've uh, programmed it at, it's going to feed as much as it can from the solar, and it only goes to the batteries to top it off if it needs a little more juice because okay. you're on a really bright setting, right? So in theory, if you have it on a low setting and you're outdoors today, it's not using any battery at all. Okay. So the models that we sell that have no solar, we quote them at about 50,000 hours of runtime on a single battery. <laughs> These guys, we say almost up to 100,000 hours because in a lot of ambient light conditions like this, it's using very minimal battery drain at all. Wow. Yep. So with... Uh with this unit, you know, you've made some changes with the reticles, which is great. It's ruggedized. Uh, where do you see the Romeo line going next? Uh, there's another model that we're showing here at Range Day today called the Romeo 6. Uh, it's a fuller size variant. Some guys, you know, it's just personal preference whether you want a micro size red dot or a full size red dot. The fuller size has a little bit bigger uh, objective. Mm -hmm. You don't really get field of view because there's no magnification, but you do get a little bit broader perspective I because see. it's a little w bigger open. So, and in that model, it's pretty interesting. The the Romeo, there's no room in the Romeo four, but in the Romeo six S, right, that has the solar panel like the Romeo four S. Uh, the panel will actually uh, charge two supercapacitors that are on board. And so in that model, even if your battery is removed or if it's totally dead, um, it not only will work when there's ambient light, but it's going to be charging those supercaps. So at nighttime, if you're in a situation where your battery's down, as long as that was exposed to light during the okay. day, it's enough to get you through okay. the night off the supercaps. Well, that's great. Yeah. So for more on optics, like the Sig Sauer Romeo 4, go to SigSauer.com.